be going down. Hi guys, out driving in the crazy car view mode. And I'm just heading up to town, Slay Elsa, and after that I'm going down to the town where Sebastian lives um, to pick up a remote control car. I'm gonna get a Revo, yay! I'm so excited, really am. Uh, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon now, and I just need to go up to Slay Elsa. Um, I have a car behind me, um, a remote control car, a small one. Uh, the guy I'm getting the remote control car from actually bought it for his son, which is only about seven years old, and then he found out, wow, he's way too powerful for my little kid. And I said, well, I have another car, so maybe he'll buy that from me. So, but he works in Norway, so he comes home in two weeks' time, and they come and pick up the stereo, so we're doing the tray, which is great. Uh, but he said, my wife is home, so you can go down and pick up, pick up the car if you want to, in case you wanna, don't want to wait the two weeks. So I'm doing that now, and then in two weeks' time, they'll come and pick up the stereo. The reason why I don't bring the stereo to them now is because there's someone else who has to have the stereo, and not him, and you haven't got room for it at home. So, um... Yay, I'm gonna get a Revo! And without costing me any money, well, except driving down there and get it, but uh, it's it's very close to where I live, so that's cool. And I might be picking up Sebastian on the way uh, back. <laughs> Talk of the devil, he just FaceTimed me while I was driving, um, and uh, he just wanted me to know that it was okay for him to be picked up. Because Sebastian has chores at home, his mum and dad, or stepdad, works like till about five o'clock every day, and uh, Sebastian very often prepares the food for them. Even though he's only 14 years old, he, he's a very good cook and he wants to be chef. So that's perfectly for him. I can't believe I'm getting a Revo. It's not a brushless edition, guys, and it doesn't really matter with me uh, that it's just a brushed version. It goes about 50 kilometers an hour, which is more than a good speed. That's the same as my Emax. Um, but if I want to upgrade, I can buy a Hobby King. Uh, they have like an, uh, an ESC and brushless motor set, uh, which is waterproof, which I really, really want because this is a car who can take a lot of beating and I want to go out in the snow and play with it and all that. Um, so in case I want to um, convert it into a brushless version, it'll probably be that Hobby, ki Hobby King kit. Um, but the beauty of this car I'm picking up today, it already comes with two LiPo batteries. So I already have the batteries for the extremely high speeds. Ah! And it also comes with a charge, I think. Sebastian bought a boomerang, we're going to try and copy it because he, the one he bought is like a legit company making it and they work. and. Uh, we tried to make one one time, didn't work, so we're gonna try and make one of, copy of the one he bought and see if uh, we have more success with that. What up? I picked up Sebastian and we're going skating shortly. We're just going home to pick up some stuff. Sebastian got a boomerang and we need to try and make a copy of it. He bought it, it's really, really awesome. I like the way it paint job. And um, we're gonna try and copy it. I have still made that. Yeah, he made it himself. Or at least he paid the money himself. <laughs> or your mother did. <laughs> All right guys, you remember. My little Revo, I like this Revo. This is the Revo VXL. It's like a, a miniature version, brushless, it's so much fun, but not as fun as this one. <laughs> look, I finally got it, and look at the size in them compared. <laughs> there is a big difference. And, oh my god, I love it. And the same, the same body, you can see the same pattern and color and everything like that. Hello. Oh. So, got the two Titan engines there. And he made all this himself, like rechanged the solders. If you open them here, it came with two brand new LiPo batteries, which are quite expensive. Look how big they are. Oh, nice. And they are two cell. And the car works. Come with a charge as well. I am just so happy. You can't believe it, guys. I'm just so. <laughs> I feel like crying. <laughs> so now I have my three dream cars of Traxxas. I got my Revo, which is there. I got my Emacs standing up there. And in here I got my slash, standing right there. And that's not the body I normally use, this is the normal body, but I have a spare body for it. Shit. So that is awesome and epic. And I even got the box, woo! Oh my god. And it came with a charge as well, oh even more god. awesome. <laughs> look at that, look at that suspension system. I'm gonna tighten it up, I want it to be higher. When I tighten it up, I want it to be about up here, so I can do better jumps. <laughs> it's awesome! <laughs> Oh. And Sebastian might get one of those. He liked the size of those, so he might want to get one of those. Word, word, guys. So I've been to the skate park and I'm heading home now, which is awesome and epic. I'm going home to have a look at my Revo. Oh, I can't believe I got one now. And I traded it for my speakers 
Um, the cool thing about it, that guy who I traded with, he li he works in Norway and he's just gone there today and come home in two weeks. But he said, said to me, we can go down and pick up the car. My wife is home and whenever I come home from Norway, I'll come and pick up the speakers. That's it's just, wow, so trustworthy. But I did give him my full name and an address and everything like that. And uh, so he knows exactly where I live and uh, they're not, not trying to cheat him. Um, and first of all, he was the one saying to me, just come and pick up the car. That's awesome! Sweetness, then awesomeness, then epicness. I got that from Toby, if you know him, Toby Jones, Tabascus. He said, what is it like? First blackness, then redness, then whiteness, or something like that. I can't remember it. I think it's whiteness, redness, no, blackness, whiteness, redness, or blackness, red, and whiteness. It doesn't matter. But I said, first awesomeness, then epicness, no. Sweetness, awesomeness, and epicness. Wow, I forgot it already. Ah! I'm so stupid. All right, guys. Um, but I'm gonna go in first now. I'm just been print skating, and my body is a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna go into my friend, um, very good friend. He got like a massage chair, and I'm just gonna have like 15 minutes, half an hour in that before I go home because that's just such a, a nice, it's just a nice feeling just having a little bit of massage um, from these chairs before you go home and and do nothing. <laughs> well, I gotta edit. Uh, but I thank you guys so much for all the positivity. You have been around my video. Um, I was really, really nervous if you guys would like it or hate it when I put it up. And it's just been so much positive uh, response on it, which is so nice. Um, thank you guys, it means a lot. I did try my best to make a video a little bit different from a lot of the fingerboarding, which some people also commented that it was nice to see a fingerboarding video, not just you sitting at a desk. Uh, and fingerboarding on some sort of obstacle. I was aiming to make a little bit different. That's why also It's like a team video and me and Christian are on the same team And I wanted to like make it more like an introduction of both me and Christian and not so much only fingerboarding So that's that's what I aimed for and I think I've done it quite well um, And I think everybody should do that if they make fingerboarding videos They're making like a visit card to say that who you are and something like that I mean it doesn't say much about who we are, but it shows what we look like and and a little bit about um, hopefully give a little bit of a personality but I look forward to my next video and that's gonna be hopefully awesome and epic as well so um, right I'm at my friend now so I'll uh, I'll pop in and have like a massage in a chair and I'll go home and have a nice shower and then I'll relax <laughs> <laughs>